So my dear Pisces, um, whether you're young, whether you're old, aligning ourselves to our true purpose is something that has always been there since we were young. And I feel like if you listen to yourself, especially at a young age, you've kind of identified what it is that you need to be doing and that you should be doing in terms of a career as opposed to what you feel obligated to do due to the societal needs that you put yourself through and you have kind of co-signed. And if you have done that already, then nine times out of 10, you're watching this video to understand how the hell to get out of that position. And basically, what I'm referring to is making the wrong career decision based on your star sign. I feel like your star sign naturally kind of dictates what and where you will succeed in. And if you are Pisces, then nine times out of 10, you are of service to humanity, meaning that whatever you find yourself doing has to be of service to humanity, whether it's small or whether it's big, humanity is very important um, to, to Pisces just naturally. Um, and very important, nature. Nature is vitally important to um, Pisces. So I can tell you for free, that as much as I excelled in my creative aspects, and which is a major part of you know being Pisces, um, there's a big chunk of me that literally always wanted to get involved in anything linked to um, being of service, whether it's NGO work or or being a veterinarian or being one of those wildlife peeps who live on some remote land looking after, you know, rhinos and knowing them by name and tranquilizing them and then feeding them and helping them. I feel like if I came back, I would definitely live my life in that space, in that setting and be very much okay with that. Now, a lot of the times because of us being so easily caught up in the societal kind of living up or keeping up with the Joneses, we as Pisces people tend to feed our egos before we feed our hearts. Biggest, biggest mistake, especially career wise. So if you are in a position where you are feeding your ego, meaning that your current salary pays um, to enjoy um, fancy meals, fancy restaurants, traveling here, traveling there, you drive a nice car, you would never see yourself driving another car, then you've already kind of signed yourself up for something that does not make you happy. And nine times out of 10, you believe in your mind that there is no other option. Well, I'm here to tell you very freely that um, I was one of you. I was that guy. I got a car that was not necessary. Um, I lived a life that was not necessary. I basically went to all the fancy restaurants. I could travel and go wherever I wanted. But in every single thing I did, that fancy car, that nice environment, the traveling, the expensive clothes I bought, I was extremely unhappy and I know you are too. Because if you're watching this, then nine times out of 10, that's exactly where you are in your life. You're sad when it comes to anything linked to your heart because Things just don't work out. Things don't pan out. And it's because you are not aligned to your true self. And aligning to your true self is the only way I ended up kind of like literally shifting everything um, in terms of my career. So I stopped, I stopped listening to what society wanted and what I felt I needed to, you know, live up to. And I started really going back to my inner child and my inner relationship and truly started understanding what I wanted to do and what makes me truly happy. And helping people was a big thing to me. Hence, I became a psychic medium. Hence, I became, you know, an empath. All of these things, ironically enough, inadvertently gave me all the things I wanted that I had before and more. So we have this set idea as Pisces people that once we get into the societal idea, I work for a company, I you know have a dead end job, and even though it pays me well, like I'm not happy, we feel like there's a limit. It will never get like I will never go further. Nine times out of ten, I can tell you for free that idea is absolute nonsense because once you align yourself to your relationship, to your energy, and what you're supposed to be doing as a Pisces person, um, you get way more. The word abundance is what you start experiencing, not saying. And if you truly understand this, Pisces, you will be brave enough to make that commitment. Now you sit there and you say, Nathaniel, what exactly do Pisces people, what, are, what, what, what career choices should they be looking at? Well, it's very simple. Your creative side is a massive part of who you are. 
and expressing yourself creatively is a big deal. So whether that is linked to the arts, whether that is music, whether that is singing, whether that's production, whether that is creating original pieces, whether that is you painting, um, you know, whether you handy with your hands and you into crafts, whatever the case may be, you need to learn how to express yourself. But because you are so talented, my dear Pisces, that is one avenue, not the only avenue. Being of service is also going to be a big deal to you. So whatever avenue, whether it is teaching, whether it is um, being a mentor, whatever the case may be, take whatever you've learned and see how you can give back, how you can help those who are, aren't in the position you're in and they kind of a reflection of where you were 10 years ago. Find an avenue where you can start giving back, pay it forward. These are vitally important things to start looking into, whether that's starting a podcast, whether that's doing videos like I do, whether that's physically working within the community that you're in and finding ways to give back. It is so important because it does something to your soul that literally cannot be bought. It can only be experienced. And then thirdly, you want to connect to nature. So that that's either, you know, whether you adopt a dog whether you um, part of like some kind of once a month group that goes out and cleans the ocean, um, anything that links to nature. Um, all of these avenues you don't want to do necessarily for money because I didn't start being a psychic medium and I didn't become an empath because of money. All these things I'm telling you will naturally start off being avenues that don't really pay much. So you're basically proving to life that you deserve whatever abundance is out there, but you got to do work. For anything that you kind of want to receive, you got to prove to your um, passion that you are worthy of it. And if you've not done the work and you just want to live the easy life and you just want to live the life where I have everything, I can afford everything, but I feel exceptionally lonely and cold in that place, then that's just how you're going to end up being for the rest of your life. But my dear Pisces, if you know that there's more to life, more to money, then you will easily, even though it's pretty tough, but you will easily walk away from that ego feeding, ground yourself in something where it's not about you and how you can make it about other people and be consistent with it. And over time, opportunities will open up that your beautiful intuitive mind will see as a gap, as a niche market, and with everything that you have experienced in your life, you will know that, cool, there's my opportunity, there's my opportunity. So arts, giving back to humanity, um, and with arts, that's all about expressing yourself in whatever way, um, and helping the planet, looking after the planet. These are the three things that I feel every single human being should kind of be aligned to, but specific to Pisces people, these things are so important. I walked away from that life, that nine to five corporate life, meetings, meetings. I literally quit. I quit. I'm now a psychic medium. I love what I do. Um, I, I enjoy an abundance of life. I have no worries. There's no obligation to like, oh my word, Mondays, Mondays. I'm straight. None of that. I don't have that. I used to have that, but I don't. Um, I... Still, I'm a comedian. I still give back. I still love talking and expressing and sharing my knowledge, which I get spiritually from my spirit guide. So that is a big deal to me as well. Um, and I love being part of nature. Have I done enough in terms of doing active planned work? No, I probably should start. But I know that it's something I need to do. So look at these three avenues and start practicing. Start doing work in it or else you're gonna end up feeding your ego for the rest of your life and end up extremely happy. And this naturally has a knock-on effect because it will affect not only your self-love, your relationship with yourself, it will also kind of just turn into a horrid kind of state where you have a horrible relationship with your um, family, your kids, your extended family. Um, it will always just be shallow and you will always feel like I need help, 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 but you're going nowhere because you're stuck in a place that you give so much time to and that time that you're giving is pointless. You're giving time to a beast named society. You're not giving time to yourself. You want to be able to commit to your passion, your career and in turn still feed so many people and one of those people is definitely you. I do that with what I'm able to do as for a living. I feed myself but I'm also able to feed so many people with knowledge 
and that is powerful and that is my life that's my life and that is a beautiful circle so this is knowledge i pass on to you and hopefully you can start applying it not just know it for fun and be brave enough to make those decisions and yes there's not going to be a reference as Everyone else has a reference. Why? Because your journey is unique. So don't be afraid about doing something that everybody else will be concerned about and worried about. Because if you have that issue again, this is not going to go right. I didn't have a reference when someone said, hey, quit your job, leave everything you knew and literally start this journey. And I had no guarantees because that's the other thing. Your guarantee must be faith. Not someone signing a little contract saying yes for, for you know, you employed and you have made a good. I have a abundance and if you don't have that faith you will not understand abundance that is my career advice for you my dear Pisces people